Welcome back to the weekend as we have you covered for Saturday's two-game league championship slate. We've got the AL to start, and then we'll get into that Padres-Phillies game here in the National League. So we'll do that. Before that, we'll ask you to hit the thumbs up button, as always. You know, Lindy's got you throughout the week. I'm here on the weekend as we ride through the end of the postseason. Make sure you're subscribed here. We have a ton of stuff happening. It's not just for baseball, but if you're betting across the board, you want to be subscribed here. The notification bell, so when these videos drop, especially if you're out west, you're going to get them early before everything really hits. So we want you to just be a part of the whole community. And... Yes, the BetMGM promo is still here. You probably either forgot about it or just tuned me out the last time you heard. So I'm still going to hammer you over the head coming up. Remind you, or if you're new, tell you how you can turn $10 into $200 just by betting on a hockey game over at BetMGM. But the two games to look at, League Championship Series rolls on. Two-game slate starts right now. Back to the wall right now as the Yankees return home trailing 2-0 in this series. Justin Verlander took care of business game one, and then it was a frustrating exit to Houston in Houston in game two. And if you just look at the history for this Yankees team, it, it's not good that few teams have overcome a 2-0 series deficit. We don't care about that here. All we care about is game three. And the Yankees are loading up with Garrett Cole here in this game sending him out, doing everything they possibly can to survive. And when you're Houston, clearly you don't want to take your foot off the gas. I get that. You also have Christian Javier on the hill, and I do think that there is an opportunity first career postseason start where you've seen him pitch in relief appearances before, but first postseason start against the Yankees team that still has that power especially atop the lineup. You don't want to make mistakes there and open something up either to judge or for judge around him. You're going to see a mistake early on, and that's going to be the difference, I think, in this game. And if you want to just point to desperation, that's fine. But you also have an element here in Garrett Cole, who's a pretty damn good pitcher as well. This is basically what the Yankees need, and they get a good set of circumstances with not only a strong arm leading them on the mound, but... There's going to be an opportunity or two just opened up by Javier. Again, he's been in there where you've seen Javier pitch in postseason performances coming out of the pen. But I, I do think in this spot, there's a little bit of a different approach here. And we just don't know at this point. And I'm willing to give a little slight benefit here to the Yankees. We've also seen, if you just want to look at the struggles recently, it, a lot of this has been Nestor Cortez. You know, a lot of this has also been trying to figure out this rotation moving forward. You're going to get a little bit of a break, a little bit of an exhale with Garrett Cole getting this victory here. And that's probably the best thing that they can do right now. These are close games. You know, they're not getting blown out by any means. They're not getting run out of the building either. You lose by two and then by one, you come back, you have a sense of you're in this series. So, Give me the money line. Give me the Yankees. I'll lay a little bit extra here. I'm okay with that. You see, minus 145. That's fine. Money line for the New York Yankees. All right, so we've been telling you about this now for a couple of days, and we keep hammering you over the head with this because this can't lose. It's a no-brainer. It's going to hit. You are going to sign up for BetMGM as a new user, and you are going to turn $10 into $200. All you're going to do is just bet on any NHL money line. It doesn't matter what happens in the game. Win or lose, that $10 turns into $200 as soon as a team scores a goal. So think about this. You're bouncing around. You find the Odds Shopper channel. You're thinking Odds Shopper. You know, these guys are shopping odds. You're on the free YouTube site here. You're bouncing on our free site as well for all the written content and all the tools that we have on there. You keep seeing BetMGM, BetMGM. You keep seeing it shaded, right? Phillies, Sixers, Knicks, Lakers, what Saints, whatever, BetMGM, BetMGM. And you're thinking to yourself, all right, clearly they're shopping odds here. Clearly they'll tell me that I can save a couple of pennies down to just a point or two at the best book, BetMGM. Why would you go back to the book you're using, 
knowing you're getting a bad deal, knowing you're getting a raw offer when we've told you for free, mind you, that the better offers at BetMGM. Just open the account. Click on that link below. It's going to bring you on over there. Sign up, deposit at least $10, put that 10 on any NHL money line play, and then as soon as the team scores a goal in that game, $200 right back into your account. Speaking of backs to the wall, that's the San Diego Padres after they dropped game three in Philadelphia. So now you have another one here, and Philly's going to take their foot off the gas. We know that it's going to be a Syndergaard special here. There's going to be some expectation, I think, for the Phillies at least to kind of cool off a little bit where you see that they've had some timely hitting. Kyle Schwarber with that solo shot. So they've been able to get these solo home runs. But that, I think, is also part of the strategy with San Diego. And look, for better or worse, it's if you're going to make a mistake or if you're going to pitch to a guy, make sure there's nobody on the base path and take very few risks against a guy like Schwarber, Harper, etc. I do think San Diego has a shot here. And I do think that it's not just getting to know a Syndergaard, but it's also the fact that this is where the Padres have thrived, much like the Phillies have thrived, down in situations, being in a spot where it's easy to count them out. The difference, though, is momentum right now. And you're playing in front of a crowd that is super amped and has made, I think, a slight difference for the home team. It's no knock on the San Diego Padres fan base by any means, but even the national broadcast was referencing the stark difference that you've seen. And look, some of that is just game time. 1.30 in the afternoon in San Diego is not ideal. I, I don't think that the Phillies are going to just be quiet and punt. This is not just to put Noah Syndergaard out there. Let's get one. We go back and we'll win one uh, on the road. I think they're going to go out and try to at least win this game. And Syndergaard as well is, is going to be sneaky and can get me about four innings. Then I think the under is in play here. San Diego, on the other hand, you know, if it's short rest, if it's just the, the turnaround to go back to the top of the rotation on short rest to avoid ultimately being exited in this series by the Philadelphia Phillies, that again, I think will speak to a lower scoring game. So the Phillies bats are not exploding by any means. You're not going to see a ton of offense. You haven't seen that against good San Diego pitching. And I think if it's you, Darvish, right back there on short rest, what have you, the San Diego Padres are not going to allow for a punt scenario. Philly's going to put Syndergaard out there. He'll probably give up a ton of hits, probably walk a couple of guys, but three, four runs if that and that that's probably going to be your final 4-1, something along those lines, 4-2 San Diego. So give me the under in this game. Phillies, they're still in control for a little bit, but the Padres bounce back and we stay under this total. All right, thanks again for rolling with us. We're back on Sunday, so we'll look again at the series as they roll on here. Some pretty important games, as you can imagine, with backs to the walls and elimination and all the other things starting to take place and form here in these two respective series. So if you haven't already, you freeloader out there, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and really take advantage of that free money below at BetMGM. You can join our Discord as well. It's all there for you below. Two good links for you to click and be a part of what we're doing here at Odd Shopper. We'll see you Sunday.